بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته حياكم الله جميعا معكم صالح الخليفة طالب في جامعة الملك فهد للبترول المعادن من مبادرة أرشف الحلول أولد إكزامز فهذا المقطع إن شاء الله راح أحل مترم إكزام سمستر تو ون لمادة ماث تو تو واللي كان عليه خمسة عشر بالمية والمواضيع كانت Linear Models, Growth and Decay, Newton's Law of Cooling, Basically Section 3.1 and Section 4.1 All of these three sections are called 4.1 and the last section is 4.2 Reduction of Order طيب بسم الله نبدأ في question number one uh, He says Let L be a linear differential operator Assume that cosine of 2x is the solution of this differential equation and sine squared of 2x is the solution of this differential equation and cosine of 4x is the solution of this differential equation. Then which of the following functions is a particular solution of this differential equation? Uh, this question is easy to solve. الفكرة منها نطبق فكرة superposition principle. يعني uh, we have like first differential equation L1 of y has a solution of function of g1 of x and second differential equation L2 of y has a solution of function of g2 of x and another differential equation L3 of Y has a solution of G of 3 of X these are solutions and these are differential equations طيب superposition principle on topic anything we apply to these differential equations will be applied to the solutions طبعا, any linear operations like multiplication Addition, subtraction. If I, if I say it like a l one of y plus b l two of y plus c l three of y will be my new differential equation. Let's say l four of y. This is a new differential equation. طيب the solution of this differential equation the new differential equation will be a g1 of x plus b g2 of x plus c g3 of x will be the solution of this differential equation we say g, g4 of x say new solution طيب new solution طيب now this is the new solution الفكرة من هذا السؤال نطبق هذه الفكرة طيب الآن we have this differential equation كيف أعرف ال operators أو ال A وال B وال C هذه أول شيء we have to simplify the new differential equation we have L of Y which is we, take, we can take 4 as a common factor and it will be outside the square root will be 2 and square root of e to the power 4x can be written as 2x all squared like this 2x all squared plus 2 e to the power 2x plus 1 okay now we have inside the square root we have the perfect square so you can write it as e to the power 2x plus 1 all squared which will be 2 absolute value of e to the power 2x plus 1 which is the same as 2 e to the power 2x plus 1 since e to the power 2x plus 1 is always non-negative or always greater than or equal to 1 type and an طلعنا ال new differential equation this this is the new differential equation طيب 
الآن نطبق هذه و apply this operation on the solutions now we have e to the power 2x is the first differential equation here e to the power 2x and plus 1 we don't have here plus 1 like in we have cosine square of 2x and sine square of 2x and we know that sine square plus cosine square of the same angle always will be 1 الآن اللي راح نسوي إيش راح نقول we have our new differential equation L of y will be 2 e to the power 2x plus 2 which is the same as e to the power 2x plus 2 sine square of 2x plus 2 cosine square of 2x now we apply we have 2 l of 1 of y plus 2 l 2 of y plus 2 uh, f1 plus l 3 of y so the solution will be solution will be what let's say g4 of x will be h 2 g1 of x plus 2 g2 of x plus g3 of x and we substitute that g1 of x لو رجعنا it is cosine 2 x and g2 of x is sine square of 2 x and cosine 4 x is g3 of x and I'm substitute راح يطلع لنا g2 cosine of 2 x plus 2 sine square of 2x plus cosine of 4x and we try to simplify طيب الآن we can say what can say this is 2 cosine of 2x okay plus 2 uh, here we have what cosine 4x here in the formula that says or the a double angle formula we know that cosine of 2x will be 2 cosine square of x minus 1 oh let's say 1 minus 2 sine square of x had the double angle formula you should know it but we, here we have 4x and here is 2x simply replace x by 2x so cosine of 4x will be what 2 cosine square of 2x minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine square of 2x and عندنا هذا هذه المعادلة طيب استخدم أي واحدة فيهم ما راح تفرق كثير استخدم هذه أنا راح استخدم هذه تمام طيب فراح تصير ساين سكوير of 2x plus 2 كوسين سكوير of 2x minus 1 طيب cosine square this factor can be said as sine square of 2x plus cosine square of 2x plus another cosine square of 2x minus 1 انا ليش كتبتها بهذه الطريقة لان عندي first, first two terms is nothing but 1 فعندي هذا الحد كامل is 1 هذا equal to 1 مع الواحد هذا راح يكون زيرو راح راح يبقى لي only cosine square of 2x ف this factor will be 2 cosine of 2x plus 2 and the, the remaining is cosine square of 2x فهذا الجواب النهائي طيب نرجع للخيارات لاحظ ان الخيار الاول هو الجواب الصحيح so the answer is A.
طيب الآن عندنا we have question two that says consider the sets we have three sets s one and s two and s three sets عبارة مجموعة مجموعة من the functions فset one عندنا the functions three and this cosine square and this cosine also set two and set three طيب then which of the following statements is true طيب نلاحظ ان الخيارات talks about linearly dependent or independence فتتكلم عن dependence dependent or independent طيب to know that functions we have like multiple functions that if they are dependent or linearly independent we can know that by two methods either we do the run scheme which is the determinant او by the definition that says c1 f of x plus c2 f of x plus c3 f of uh, and so on equals zero for some values of seeds. طيب انا راح اشرح الديفينيشن اولا طيب اول شيء الديفينيشن يقول if we have c1 f of x plus c2 f of x plus c3 f of uh, f3 of, of x in f2 f1 this equation equals to zero provided that c1 does not equal to c2 afon provided that c1 and c2 c3 not all zeros and we we can ما نقدر نقول ان c1 تساوي c2 تساوي c3 تساوي zero هذه لا definition هذا يستثني هذه الحالة فإذا this equation holds such that c1 c2 c3 not all zeros يعني ممكن بعضهم ممكن واحد منهم يكون zero والباقي لا if this equation satisfies we can say that they are linearly dependent تمام if this equation holds if this equation doesn't doesn't hold we say linearly independent. They have had a definition. They have a second method using the run scheme, which is the determinant. Say that f1 of x, but then f1 prime of x, but then f1 double prime of x, in a f2 of x, in a f3 of x, in a f2 prime, f2 double prime and f3 prime f3 double prime تحسب الران سكين if this does not equal to zero determinant for all x that belongs to the domain let's say r here both ال a مقلوب هذه for all أنا تلجيم يقيم x إذا هذه لا تساوي zero we say linearly independent independent تمام؟ if the determinant not equal to zero for all x we say linearly independent if there is a value of, of x such that this determinant equal to zero we cannot say that they are linearly independent الآن for set one and set two راح أحلها بالdefinition لأنه الرون سكيم هنا derivative شوي راح يأخذ وقت متعب فراح أحلها طبعا الرون سكيم مو صعب لكن ممكن يأخذ وقت and S3 راح أحلها في الرون سكين طيب now start with S1 ف we have ثلاثة C1 we apply the definition plus C2 cosine square of 11 x over 2 plus C3 cosine 11 of x equal to 0 طيب طيب بعض الطلاب راح يعرف ان هذه ديانا يدبنت على طول S1 and S2 ليش؟ because we can write one of these functions as a linear combination of the others صحيح؟ لأنه cosine square of 11x over 2 is somehow equal to something plus or minus like cosine 11x فهذه clearly it is linear dependent طبعا أنا ما راح أمشي بالطريقة هذا راح أحلها في الديفينيشن للتوضيح طيب الآن نتذكر 
double angle formula that says cosine square of x and we should remember this formula cosine square of x over 2 is nothing but co 1 plus cosine of x all over 2 الآن عندي 11x over 2 أعوض بدلل x 11 فرح يطلع لي 3c1 plus c2 over 2 plus c2 over 2 and cosine of كم 11x راح تدبلت هنا كانت x over 2 بعدين صارت x فهنا 11x over 2 راح تصير 11x plus c3 cosine 11 of x equal to 0 now if we say let let c3 equals uh, let's say minus 1 half and c2 equals 1 الحد هذا والحد هذا they will cancel each other ok they will cancel each other فراح يطلع لي كم 3c1 minus 1 half uh, minus 1 half طيب أقدر أختار c1 كم 1 over 6 فإذا عوضت بالأرقام هذه إيش راح تطلع لي معادلة راح يطلع لي هنا نصف وهنا minus half they will cancel each other وهنا راح يطلع لي minus half cosine 11 x وهنا minus half cos uh, عفوا راح يطلع هنا half cosine 11x وهنا minus half cosine x but this equation satisfies طيب نتأكد هذا الشرط الأول صحيح طيب هل all of these c's are zeros no ولا واحدة منهم zero إذا كانوا كلهم zero لا ما أطبق the definition طيب فالآن the definition عندي holds this equation is holds and c1 c2 c3 not all of them are zeros فمش معناته لينيرلي ديبندنت ف اس 1 راح نقول ديبندنت تمام طيب معناته هذه غلط مضبوط وهذه غلط فعندنا يا هذا الخيار او هذا الخيار او هذا الخيار طيب الان حلينا هذه نروح ل اس 2 the same thing we apply طيب let's say we have s2 as 11 cotan square of 11x cosecant square of 11x طيب نذكر الفورمولا هذه cotan square of x is nothing but cosecant square of x minus 1 هذا طلعناها من ساين سكوير بلس كوساين سكوير يكوز 1 تمام طيب الآن آه عندنا هذه المعادلة we have c1 ضرب 11 بلس c2 كوتان سكوير 11x بلس c3 كوسيكن سكوير 11x equals 0 كوتان سكوير of 11x is nothing but كوسيكن سكوير 11x minus 1 ف 11 c1 plus c2 كوسيكن سكوير 11x minus c2 plus c3 كوسيكن سكوير 11x equals 0 now let's say we pick c3 as 1 and c2 as minus 1 عشان نكنسل هذا التيرم وهذا التيرم راح يتكنسلون راح يبقى لي ايش 11c1 plus 1 فاختار c1 as كم راح اختارها هان let's say 1 over 11 او minus 1 over 11 الان نتأكد لو عوضنا راح يطلع لي هنا minus 1 وهنا راح يطلع لي ماينس كوسيكن سكوير مع بلس كوسيكن سكوير هنا راح يتكنسلون وهنا راح يطلع لي بلس 1 فالمعادلة ستسفايز معادلة صحيحة لهذه القيم and all of these c's are not zeros معناتها linearly dependent تمام نرجع للسؤال 
we say here it is dependent فمعناتها هذه غلط مضبوط فعندنا خيار هذا والخيار الأخير الآن نروح لـ S3 S3 we can solve it by the definition لكن ممكن تكون غير واضحة أو شيء ما الآن راح أحلها في الرون سكين طيب رون سكين رون سكين W equals we have 11 first derivative is 0 second derivative is 0 and sine of 11x first derivative is 11 cosine 11x second derivative is minus 11 squared sine 11x وهنا cosine 11x first derivative is minus 11 sin 11x second derivative is minus 11 squared cosine 11x equals الآن عندنا 11 بعدين راح نكسل في الأول أول عمود first row راح يبقى لنا determinant of this of this thing اللي هو زي فكرة الطرفين في الوسطين راح تصير minus 11 cubed كوساين سكوير 11x بعدين ماينس هذا الحد مع هذا الحد راح يعطيك كم 11 كيوب ساين سكوير راح يعطينا 11 كيوب ساين سكوير اوف 11x بعدين ماينس كم ساين 11x ضرب كم راح نكسل في السكند رو السكند كولوم فيرست رو راح يبقى لنا ديتيرمنت لل الصفرين هذي مع هذي فراح تكون زيرو إذا حليناها بعدين بلس كوساين 11x ديتيرمنت اوف وات نكنسل فيرست رو اند ثيرد كولوم راح يبقى لنا الانسايد هذا برضو زيرو إذا وي تيك ماينس 11 كيوب از كومن فاكتور راح تصير ماينس 11 تو ذا باور 4 وات cosine square of 11x plus sine square of 11x this is nothing but minus 11 to the power 4 لأن هذا واحد طيب هل هذا يساوي 0 لا this is not equal to 0 for all x that belongs to the domain r طيب إيش معنى تهد the r linearly independent linearly in Dependent. تمام نرجع للسؤال معناتها هذه independent. So this answer is wrong. The answer is A. I have question number three. It says that given that we have y1 equal to the exponential function as a solution of this differential equation on this interval. positive x greater than 3 now it says using the reduction of order formula this is the formula you should know it y1 the first solution the integration of the exponential of minus the integral of p of x I will explain what is p of x all over first solution squared with respect to x then Which of the following functions is a second solution that is linearly independent of y1? طيب الآن نكتب the formula. You should know it and remember it exactly. طيب what is b of x? If we have a differential equation of the second order as y double prime plus a function p of x y prime plus q of x y equals zero this is a homogeneous differential equation and what then we can apply this form and we have y1 as first solution y2 is this what so this is p of x so notice here that p of x is not ready here We have to divide by x minus 3. 
that's why the Cauchy sage from 3 to infinity in order this x minus 3 to, to not to be equal to 0 تمام? so to solve we have to arrange this differential equation so it will be y double prime minus 2x over x minus 3 y prime plus what x plus 3 over x minus 3 multiplied by y equals 0 so this is our new differential equation and so that implies that p of x is nothing but minus 2x over x minus 3 now we start to solve the question easily okay. and راح اوجد هذا الاكسبريشن كان so what is e to the minus integration of p of x which is minus 2x over x minus 3 dx is nothing but e to the integral of 2 over a, uh, of x over x minus 3 dx how to solve this نقدر نسوي long division أو قسمة أو أي يعني partial fraction wouldn't work here because the powers are equal to each other one and one so we have to use long division لكن هنا ما يحتاج long division we can add and subtract three at the numerator so we can solve it easily this is one way or we can apply long division integral of x minus 3 plus 3 all over x minus 3 dx هل أنا سويت شيء؟ لا هنا 0 وهنا 0 الآن س we do the separation we get e we get e to integration of كم 1 plus 3 over x minus 3 dx صحيح صحيح الآن which is equal to e integration كم راح أعطيك ال1 is x multiply by 2 is 2x وهنا 6 ln absolute value of x minus 3 لكن ما يحتاج because 3 is uh, x is greater than 3 so there is no need for the absolute value x minus 3 طيب هذه we can write it as what e to the power 2x multiply by e to the power ln of x minus 3 to the sixth power نقدر ندخل الستة نخليها زي الباور وها هو الجمع فلوس نخليه بهذا الشكل so this is nothing but x minus 3 to the six e to the power 2x تمام طبعا صعوبة السؤال فقط في applying this or finding this integration now we found this term the bottom the second y1 squared is will be y e to the power 2x and easily so y2 will be we say that it is y1 which is e to the power x integration the expression we found what is it e to the power 2x multiply by x minus 3 to the 6th power right yes right over y1 square what is y1 well it will be e to the power x all squared now we have cancellation we have this term will be gone with this term so this implies that y2 is nothing but e to the power x the integral of x minus 3 to the sixth dx so we can find it easy 1 over 7 e to the power x x minus 3 to the 7 plus a constant c we can assume it to be 0 so this is y2 had the second solution طيب لكن في الخيارات ما عندنا 1 over 7 ونظر خيارات ما في 1 over 7 طيب في نظرية تقول انه if we have differential equation L of 1 of y has a solution as y1 
of x تمام if this is a solution of this differential equation then a constant multiplied by this solution is also a solution of this differential equation يعني constant ما راح يأثر but we can say that also y2 is nothing but e to the power x of x minus 3 to the 7th power constant ما راح يأثر لأنه إذا عوضت المعادلة نبوت y double prime راح تحتوي على 1 over 7 something بعدين plus y prime راح يكون 1 over 7 something بعدين plus y اللي هو راح يكون 1 over 7 بعدين ال y equal to 0 فال 1 over 7 راح يتكنسل يعني ما راح يأثر so any constant different from 0 will not affect our solution تمام معناته y is the second solution is e to the x multiplied by x minus 3 to the seventh power طيب الان عفوا الان هذا السولوشن نرجع الخيارات طيب so the answer is what the answer is C. This is the answer. Now we have question four. It says that given y one as x squared is the solution of this differential equation on this interval from x greater than two, then using the reduction of order, find the other. Or if you transform this differential equation into first into linear first order differential equation. Then which one of the following differential equation would be the answer? طيب. Simply apply the formula. Nothing new. The formula says that y2 will be what? u as a function. This is function of x multiplied by 1. Which is what? x squared multiplied by u. For simplicity, I will y. I will apply y2. إذا y equals x square ضرب u هذه المعادلة الأولى المعادلة الثانية y prime remember that u is a function of x so we have a product rule here it will be 2x u plus x square u prime طيب إذا then differentiate again it will be 2u plus 2x u prime plus 2xy u prime plus x square u double prime this is the third equation and now with this equation and, and this differential equation that's all remember that we must cancel u so we have x square minus 2x ضرب y double prime which is x square ضرب u double prime plus 2 هنا we have كم؟ 4x u prime plus 4x u prime plus 2u تمام؟ عشان التوضيح راح اكتب كل شيء في لون بعدين ال minus هذا put it inside it will be plus 2 minus x squared ضرب ال y prime which is what x squared u prime plus 2xy u then plus what 2x 2x minus 2 double y which is what x squared times u equals 0 Now we try to simplify. طيب معاملات ال u double prime وت وشي. Here we don't have u double prime and here we don't have u double prime. So we only have x square x square minus two x u double prime. تمام. طيب. Plus معاملات 
اللي هو برايم عندنا 4x ضرب هذا التين 4x ضرب هذا التين راح يكون 4x كيوب ماينس 8x كوير ايضا عندنا هذا التين مضروب في هذا التين راح يطلع لنا كم بلس 2x كوير ماينس x to the fourth power فقط هذه معاملات يو برايم الآن نكتب معاملات اليو عندنا هنا 2u ضرب هذا بلس كم 2x سكوير ماينس 4x بعدين عندنا هنا 2x ملتبلاي باي هذا بلس 4x ماينس 2x كيوبت اوكي وعندنا هذا التين بلس كم 2x كيوبت ماينس 2x كوير ضرب اليو ايكوال زيرو ناو احنا نعرف انه اليو لازم تتكنسل فلنتأكد 2x كيوبت will be cancelled with minus 2x كيوبت 4x cancelled this one is cancelled so this one is nothing but zero so the new differential equation is this term and this term طيب uh, we can say it is nothing but x cubed في x minus 2 في u double prime plus what uh, راح تكون هذي كم minus 6x square ف take x square as a common factor x squared راح يكون ايش minus x squared بعدين minus كم ستة بعدين بلس 4x u prime equals zero now we say what that w equals u prime this is implies that w prime equals what u double prime and نرجع للإكويجن راح يطلع لنا x cubed في x minus 2 just let me check okay. w prime plus what x squared في minus x squared plus 4x minus 6 في w equals 0 اوكي okay. طيب احنا نمبر ذات x greater than 2 given given so divide by this it will be w prime plus x squared can we factor this let's see we take minus as a common factor راح تكون ماينس هنا راح تصير هنا x squared minus 4x plus 6 هنا w على x cubed في x minus 2 all of this is 0 now we have cancellation x squared will this cube يبقى واحد and we are left with with what w prime minus what Can we factor this? No. إيش لأن discriminant is less than zero. فراح تكون ال factors ااا imaginary numbers. خليها بهذا الشكل. X squared minus four x plus six over x minus two multiply by x ضرب w equals to zero. So this is the answer. Now we check the choices. can say it is C so we have here a minus and x square minus 4 x plus 6 which is here minus and x square minus 4 x plus 6 and in the denominator x by x minus 2 which is equivalent to this x by x minus 2 so this is the answer
only just transform the first, the second order to first order. How to solve this? Either uh, it will be uh, either uh, if it is separable with differential equation, we solve it using separation of variables, or solve it using integrating factor. We find that e uh, of integral of v of x and so on. So the answer is C. Right, now we start with question number five. It says that we have the, first, uh, the general solution of this differential equation is this equation. Then the solution of this boundary value problem. This is a very simple question because the general solution is already given. So I had the general solution. We had the boundary value problem and the condition had the first and the condition the second. Y of zero equals to one. خلاص. Then one equals to what? أول بال zero. راح يطلع لك C one plus zero. This implies that C one is one. Now we have to find Y prime. راح يطلع لك product rule هنا. E to the power four x ضرب أربعة cosine of x plus E to the power four x minus sine of x plus c2 e to the power 4x cosine of x plus 4 e to the power 4x sine of x this is y prime and then i will be condition have y prime of pi over 2 equals 0 0 type now what? راح يطلع لنا zero equals zero minus e to the two pi plus c two zero plus four e to the two pi equals zero. Okay, ما يحتاج هذي. This implies that what e to the two pi equals c two over four e to the two pi. Cancel هذا مع هذا إذا C2 will be what? 1 over 4. So the solution of this boundary value, solution of boundary value problem is y equal, now we'll see 1 is 1, C2 is 1 over 4. So it will be e to the 4x cosine of x plus sine of x over 4. So the answer is C, a very easy question. Start with question number six. It says, consider these functions y1, y2, and y3. All of them are exponential functions. Then find the Ron scheme. This means the Ron scheme. Okay. This one is very easy. Nothing hard. Okay, the non scheme is defined by definition is W as the determinant if we have function f1, but then f2, but then f3, and so on, it will be f1 prime, f2 prime, f1 double prime, and so on up to chem f1 of the n minus 1 derivative. We have f of n. يعني if we have three functions نوقف عند the second derivative okay هنا the same f2 prime f2 double prime and so on راح تكون f2 the derivative of n minus 1 and so on فإذا كان if we have n functions okay here we have three راح يكون n minus 1 derivative هذا الديريفاتيف اللي نوقف عنده تمام فعندنا هنا n equals to 3 3 functions ديريفاتيف اللي نوقف عنده راح يكون second derivative so w equals e to the negative 3x first derivative is minus 3 e to the negative 3x and 9 e to the negative 3x وهنا e to the negative 6x minus 6 e to the negative 6x 
بعدين ثيرتي سكس اي تو ذا نيجاتيف سكس اكس بعدين اي تو ذا نيجاتيف ناين اكس ماينس ناين اي تو ذا نيجاتيف ناين اكس بعدين ايتي وان اي تو ذا نيجاتيف ناين اكس سمبلي الحين نحسب ال determinant هذي راح تكون w equals e to the negative 3x the determinant of 1 eliminate first row first column it will be minus 6 e to the negative 6x 36 e to the negative 6x ok and minus 9 e to the negative 9x and 81 e to the negative 9x Adam minus. Don't forget this minus. Always be students made mistake. Put a plus. Okay. But then e to the negative six x. The determinant of what? Eliminate the second row. Uh, I mean the second column. The first row. It will be minus three e to the negative three x. But then tisa e to the negative three x. But then minus nine e to the negative nine x. 81 to the negative 9x بعدين plus e to the negative 9x الآن نحذف third column العمود الثالث and first row you will get minus 3 okay e to the negative 3x بعدين 9 e to the negative 3x بعدين minus 6 e to the negative minus 6x 36 e to the negative x and نحسب w equals ok e to the negative 3x بعدين نسوي طرفين في وسطين ok 6 by 81 او خلينا نقول 6 by 9 squared then e to the negative 15 x then uh, didn't forget the minus but then minus from the law and there is minus here for plus 9 by 6 squared and I'm going to write 9 for 36 because the number is big and I'm going to take time for 7 so I'm going to write it in this way so I can take it as a common factor e to the negative 15x then minus minus هذا لا تنساو e to the negative 6x ok the second determinant راح نضرب هذا طرفين في وسطين it will be minus 3 by 9 square e to the negative كم 12x e remember this idea Time do here if we have e to the power a x or e to the power b x, it will be e to the power a x plus b x. هذا اللي أنا سوي. Okay. هذا remember this rule. طيب. بعدين ااا. Okay. طيب. بعدين minus من القانون وفي minus here. So it will be plus plus what nine squared e to the negative twelve x. Then stuff from the other one. Shall just mad lack what the one plus e to the negative nine x. هذا في هذا راح تكون minus three by six squared e to the negative six x. I mean nine x. But then minus من القانون وفي minus here it will be plus okay nine or three square by six e to the negative nine x okay الآن عشان نوضح الآن نوضح شيء بس here we can take e to the negative fifteen x as a common factor the exponential هذا نقدر نأخذ كم فاكتور مضروب في هذا راح يكون e to the negative eighteen x طيب 
فريمبر انه هنا عندنا اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 18 اكس طيب هنا اي اس سالب 12 وهنا اي اس سالب 12 تيك ات از ا كومن فاكتور نظر انه في اي اس سالب 6 ات ويل بي ذا سيم اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 18 اكس طيب ف وهنا ايضا اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 9 اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 9 كومن فاكتور مع هذه مضروب راح تكون اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 18 سو اول اوف ذيس عندنا 3 تيرمز هير نقدر ناخذ اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 18 اكس خلاص ويبقى لنا اونلي ذيس نمبرز وي ديل وذ ذيس نمبرز اوكي فهذه الايديا فالان احنا ماشيين بالشكل الصحيح عندنا بالخيارات اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 18 اكس عندنا فعندنا والله ران سكين از ويل بي اي تو ذا نيجاتيف 18 اكس اوكي الان آه عندنا هنا We can take what. خلاص. Forget about these exponents. إحنا تخلص من exponents. عندنا only numbers. عندنا six ضرب nine square. وهنا nine ضرب six square. So we can take nine by six as a common factor. بين هذول القوسين. إيش راح يطلع لنا؟ راح يطلع لنا nine by six as a common factor. بعدين لو اخذنا كم فاكتور وش يبغى ايش يبقى لنا هنا في اول قوس راح يبقى لنا ماينس 9 اوكي ماينس 9 بعدين سكند قوس او الحد الثاني راح يبقى لنا 6 بلس 6 اوكي بعدين في ماينس من الموجود هنا ماينس هذا الماينس هذا هو الماينس هذا الماينس اللي انا كتبته اوكي فورجيت اباوت اكسبوننتس عندنا ثلاثة باي ناين سكوير ولا ننسى الماينس عندنا ناين سكوير سو وي كان تيك وات ناين سكوير از ا كومن فاكتور فراح يبقى لنا ماينس ثري بلس وان الان هذا اللي بيسويه اوكي اكتبها بشكل اخر تيك ناين سكوير از ا كومن فاكتور راح يكون ماينس 3 بلس 1 بعدين بلس اوكي بلس بلس وات عندنا هنا ماينس 3 باي 6 سكوير اند هنا 3 سكوير باي 6 فنقدر ناخذ 3 ب 6 از كومن فاكتور فايش راح يبقى هنا لو اخذ 3 ب 6 يعني راح يكون هنا 6 ب 3 موجوده برا هنا راح يبقى لنا هنا ماينس 6 وهنا ماين وهنا 3 أيضا نكتبها تذكر قلنا ناخذ 3 ب 6 which is 3 by 6 as a common factor بعدين ويبقى لنا ايش في الفراغ الأول ماينس 6 plus what plus 3 اوكي plus 3 all of this نقفل القوس and w equals e to the negative 18x طبعا I'm going very slow yeah, just to explain each step طيب هنا uh, هذي ضرب هذي okay, 9 by 6 is 54 وهنا negative 3 بعدين minus 81 by كم negative 2 بعدين plus what 18 by negative 3 and w equals e to the negative 18x هذا راح كم يطلع لنا المضرب راح يطلع لنا minus كم 162 3 ب 50 150 3 في 4 12 بعدين minus with this minus will be plus minus هذا مع minus هذا الضرب بينهم في سير plus 162 2 by 81 162 بعدين نيجاتيف لأنه ماينس مع البلس ضرب راح يكون نيجاتيف 3 باي 18 which is 54 هذا كانسل مع هذا إذا w equals minus 54 e to the negative 18x هذا الجواب نرجع للخيارات the answer is e تمام the answer is e يعني صوب السؤال only in 
finding the calculations. طبعا you can solve the question if we multiply 9 square by 6 و هنا 9 by 6 square you can solve it لكن يعني أرقام كبيرة راح تأخذ وقت شوي زيادة Now we start with question number 7 that says find the largest interval in which this initial value problem has a unique solution طيب هذا السؤال مهم جدا أول شيء راح أكتب راح أتكلم عن الثيوري uh, for any initial value problem given by this differential equation this is a general differential equation and these initial conditions a n of x darb the nth derivative plus a n minus 1 the n minus 1 derivative up to a 0 x y equals function g of x yeah and for example if we have second derivative it, like this it will be a 2 plus second derivative y dy by dx squared plus a1 plus the first derivative plus a1 of x uh, dy of x that we say it plus a0 of x darb y equals function d of x so if we have nth derivative the initial conditions will be nth initial condition اللي هو هذا و n minus 1 derivatives طبعا هذا ما يهم بس انا يهمني الشيء المهم في السؤال كيف أوجد this initial value has a unique solution طيب in order to have a unique solution on some interval i يعني مو بشرط ال differential equation ال initial value problem has a unique solution في all inter all real numbers لا ممكن في فترة مفتوحة فقط طيب in order to have a unique solution on some interval i we should have th these three conditions one two and three First, a n of x does not equal to zero for all x on this interval. هذا أول شرط. The a n of x, اللي هو معامل أكبر ديرفيتيف لا يساوي صفر لجميع قيم x في هذه الفترة. يعني a n of x لا تساوي zero خلال فترة i. طيب. The others, a n minus one, a one, a zero, and the function g of x must be all continuous on this interval. الدوال هذه لازم تكون continuous بعدين then we say the initial value problem has a solution and it is unique under which condition under this condition you provided that x0 is any point lies in the inside the interval أو يعني معناتها هو شو باختصار تشوف شيك معامل أكبر derivative اللي هو a n of x لا يساوي 0 خلال الفترة هذه ومعاملات الثانية والفنكشن g of x لازم تكون continuous وتناظر initial condition لازم يكون داخل الانتربل هذه فقط فاللي نسوي الآن هذه معامل أكبر derivative عندي هذه polynomial هذه أو شيء عندي نشيك على اللي قبل x minus 2 و 2 و sine of x this is a1 this is a0 this is g of x all are continuous فعلا ما عندنا مشكلة continuous everywhere و initial condition x equal to 4 this is important initial condition فمعناته كذا مجرد احنا ذكرنا ان initial condition must be inside the interval معناته ايش الاربعة لازم تكون داخل interval معناته ايش الجواب هذا غلط وهذا غلط على طول مباشرة فهي احد الاجوبة هذه طيب this is continuous 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 we check this that this one should not equal to zero inside an interval that contains 4 طيب so x square minus 5x ok plus 6 equal to 0 should not equal to 0 means that x minus 3 by x minus 2 should not equal to 0 means that x should not equal to 3 or x oh, let's say and and x should not equal to 2 يعني x لازم ما تكون 2 ولازم ما تساوي 3 وأيضا our initial condition x not equal to 4 ضبط فهي عندي هذا خط ردات 2 ما نبغاها و3 ما نبغاها عندي هنا initial condition 4 نبغاه هذا نبغاه فأي أكبر فترة عندي راح تكون طبعا نختار فترة واحدة 
ما راح نقول ماينس انفنتي ل 2 هذه غلط الفتره وانا راح نقول 2 3 هذه غلط لان انيش كونديشن برا وهنا انيش كونديشن برا ممكن واحد يذكر يقول الفتره هذه يونيون الفتره هذه يونيون الفتره اللي هنا لا اونلي وان انترفال ف obviously the large interval is what from three up to infinity. ليش؟ it is open and a n does not equal to zero and also the initial condition lies inside this interval. so the answer is a. تمام؟ again. طيب. another case what if I have like I don't want to only. And my initial condition is four. Okay. And he said, ask about the large interval. I would say two up to infinity. That's correct. طيب طيب هل ثلاثة إلى infinity مب صح مب صحيح لا. Three up to infinity is correct. But what? It is not the large interval. Remember this question. He always the always asked about. The largest interval. فأنت تشوف اختار أكبر فترة بحيث إنها الآن لا تساوي صفر والinitial condition inside this interval and all other these functions, these coefficients and this function must be continuous. لكن هنا ما عندي مشكلة sine و two و x minus two continuous everywhere. تمام؟ معناته الجواب راح يكون A. طيب بسم الله. Now we start with question number eight. It says a cup of coffee initially at a temperature of nine degrees is put in a, is put it in an oven. The oven temperature is one o nine degrees. After ten seconds, the temperature of the coffee cup reaches eighteen degrees. So if the cup if the cup if the coffee cup takes three seconds. To reach twenty-seven degrees, then what is T? Okay. لاحظ إن يتكلم عن الحرارة والتمبريتشر. فعندنا في الكورس differential equation which is, says that dT capital where T capital represents the temperature by dT small which is the, uh, the time equals some constant K multiplies by T which is the temperature which is a variable. Minus Tm, where Tm is your room temperature, or the place you are in. Like here, the room temperature will be obviously 109 degrees because the oven here it is like the room. Then the cup and then the coffee inside the oven, so the oven it's like the room. Right? How do you have to remember remember this? طبعاً you can remember the formula directly. Don't you don't need to solve this differential equation? So, yeah, and simply if you remember it, T capital will be equal to the room temperature, which is the oven, plus a constant C multiplied by e to the power k t. Okay, where C and k are constant. طبعا كيف جينا من هنا لهنا by Using uh, using integrating factor by mu of t, which is integrating factor, integrating factor. اللي هو هذا عندك في linear first order differential equation نحلها عن طريق ال integrating factor. لكن ما يحتاج يعني I advise you to remember the formula. Okay. طيب. Now it says the oven temperature is one o nine degrees. This is Tm. So we have T equals one o nine. Okay. But then, galak initially, initially, يعني at T equal to zero, the temperature of the cup is nine. معناته at T T of zero equals nine. We substitute. راح يطلع لنا كم؟ راح يطلع لنا T of zero. Equals one o nine plus c e to the power zero, which is one. With t of zero, this one is nine. So this implies what? C is hundred. Afw. C is minus hundred. And here, mu tisa. Now, just mu. Rahatik tisa. 
طيب هذا طلعنا السي now we need k بعدين قال لك ان the coffee cup reaches 18 degrees 18 after كم 10 seconds t equals to 10 so we have the second equation is t of 10 equals what 18 degrees now we solve 18 equals 109 minus 100 e to the power k t what is t t is we said it, it is 10 now solve for k راح يطلع 18 minus 109 over minus 100 okay equals to this value in order to get rid of the exponential we take ln for both sides the natural log and we divide by 10 okay معاملة k 1 over 10 so this is k هذه c اولا هنا k ثاني طيب الان بسط هذه k will be what 1 over 10 ln of كم 100 واللي فوق كم 13 ناقص 109 is minus كم راح يكون minus 91 مع المينس اللي تحت 2 بي بلس 91 over 100 so this is k so the overall equation we have t as a function of time okay equals 109 degrees plus a constant c which is minus 100 e to the power k t which is, which is k 1 over 10 ln of 91 over 100 t okay now you could like find what is t after t seconds the temperature is 27 find t okay and at t of some initial would say t naught some time equals to 27 degrees find what is t naught simply طبق الفورمولا and at 27 equals 109 okay 109 minus 100 e to the power 1 over 10 natural log of 91 over 100 t t naught we've, we need to find this t naught now we solve we will get what 27 minus 109 over minus 100 okay equals to this exponential to get rid of the exponential we take natural log okay right here in the 1 over 10 natural log of 91 over 100 of the root of t either t what equal to what 10 in order to get of this over what natural log of 91 over 100 طيب واللي فوق هذا يجي هنا طيب لكن خلنا نبسط هذا هنا راح يكون natural log of what 27 minus 109 is كم minus 82 وعلى minus 100 راح يكون 82 over 100 which is equal to what نبسط نقسم على 2 up and down it will be 50 and here it will be 41 so t is ln of 41 over 50 okay على ln of 91 over over 100 مضروبة في 10 or another alternative answer is t equals 10 okay log okay log of what log of this number 91 over 100 this is a bit and here the argument is 41 over 50 طبعا كيف حولت من هنا هذه من ماس 002 change of base formula طبعا هذه موجودة في الخيارات لكن just for your information طبعا هذه الانسر now we check the choices we have 10 so this is wrong this is ok and we have up len 41 over 50 this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong so either this one or this one the only this one answer because here we have 5 so it is wrong so the answer is what 
D. Answer is D. Now we start with the last question, which is question number nine. Saying that given that this set, which is uh, consists of two functions x squared plus two and x, this set is a fundamental a fundamental set of solutions. Okay, meaning that they are solutions and they are linearly independent. This is a set of a fundamental set of solutions of this differential equation. And notice this differential equation is a homogeneous differential equation. Okay. Then the general solution of this differential equation on this interval is what? أول شيء لو تلاحظ this differential equation is the same as this but except here it equals to zero and here equals to some function g of x. طيب طبعا هذا السؤال يعني ممكن يكون شوي صعب لكن بطريقة ما راح يكون سهل. And we remember that if we have a differential equation, okay, let's say uh, a differential equation equals to function of gx, we say that the general solution of this differential equation y is what general solution is a bar and complementary bar plus particular bar. And we say the complementary part is the solution, solution of what? Of the associated homogeneous differential equation. يعني إيش معناته؟ The solution حق the homogeneous differential equation حق هذه of يعني d e make it equal to zero. This is implies that this is a differential equation. فهو قال لك هذه المعلومة أعطاك ال y f c يعني هذه y c. So y c is what c one the first one x squared plus two plus c two x okay. لاحظ خيارات هذه موجودة شوف هذه واضحة. Now we need what the other solution which is y p. Y p is what is a solution, particular solution of the the differential equation itself which is the non-homogeneous g of x. طيب. هنا قلنا إن y p is a solution معناته وشو؟ if you, if I have y of p then I can verify it it is a solution of this differential equation. طيب هنا عندي الخيارات we have y of p هنا sine four x and cosine two x and cosine four x and sine two x and sine five x. خلاص عندي y of p أقدر أعوض في the differential equation هاني and verify it and the one that that is holds يعني verified يعني the left side equal right hand side خلاص it will be the, the particular solution ما يحتاج أحل differential equation هذا الآن نعرف أن الآن راح نعوض ب y of p equals sine of 4x and we find y prime and y double prime then substitute and يعني نحاول نشوف هل تساوي the right side ولا لا أنا بكل هذا كله راح أختصر عليك خيارات لأن عندك كم خيار 1 2 3 4 5 5 choices I will eliminate these choices up to 2 choices only يعني just to save time أو يعني أعطيك كأنه هنت بحيث تبدأ بالـ particular solution واي في اللي ممكن غالبا تكون إجابة صحيحة أوكي الآن we check نعرف أنه If we differentiate this, you will have cosine but the argument for x. Also the same for this sine but the argument for x, and this one will be cosine argument five x. Check the argument for x, for x, five x. Here on the right side, half e for x, five x. No. And immediately, if we start to start to find what is y p, don't start with these choices. عشان to save time. So we left with cosine two x and sine two x. Okay. I will start first with what? If y of p was equal to sine of two x, then y prime of p is two cosine of two x. Then y double prime of p is what? Minus four. 
sine of 2x then sub in the differential equation and differential equation equals some function d of x check the right side equals the left side or la and then now what we have 2 minus x square tarbushu minus 4 sine 2x then plus 2xy prime plus 4 cosine 2x when of x and then minus 2y minus 2 sine of 2x this is must be equal to the right side as we see it the right hand side and simplify 4x cosine 2x and then ish راح يطلع لك وات يا طويل العمر راح يطلع لك بلس نضرب هذه راح يعطينا ساين اوف 2x اند 4x سكوير بعدين هنا ماينس 4 ضرب 2 از ماينس 8 وذ ماينس 2 راح تكون ماينس 10 هل تساوي الرايت هاند سايد تشيك 4x كوساين 2x في 4x كوساين 2x لا and the x is 4x sin 2x with a negative sign so this is immediately غلط so y of p does not equal to sin of 2x now check for what y of p equals cosine of 2x then y prime of p is minus 2 sin of 2x and y double prime of p is minus 4 cosine of 2x راح اعوض first we have 2 minus x square ضرب ال y double prime which is minus 4 cosine of 2x but then plus 2xy prime plus 2x ضرب y prime راح يطينا minus minus 4x sine 2x بعدين we have what minus 2y ok minus 2y what is minus 2y minus 2 cosine of 2x check if it's equal to right hand side or what طيب الان minus 4x sine of 2x عندنا هنا plus cosine of 2x as a common factor راح يبقينا ايش minus 4 ضرب هذا كام مع minus 2 راح يعطينا 4x square وهنا عندنا minus 8 مع minus 2 راح يعطينا minus 10 هل هذه equals right hand side check cosine 2x 4x تربيع ناقص 10 cosine 2x 4x تربيع ناقص 10 بعدين هنا minus 4x sine 2x minus 4x sine 2x so it is or right then then what then y of p equals cosine of 2x so this is right and halas we found y of p and already we know it is given the complementary part is given so the answer is simply p most students أغلب الطلاب راح يحاول يحل the differential equation هذي راح يستغرب كيف 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 لو تلاحظ ال all exams the question about the fundamental set of solution always about verification غالبا يعني غالبا يسألك عن verification يعني يعطيك fundamental set of solution يقول لك verify that they are fundamental set of solution of this differential equation so we have to verify first x squared plus two and x are solutions but then, then we show that both these functions are linearly independent, either using the definition or the Ron scheme. يعني ما راح يفرق. لكن هنا جاب نفس الفكرة من idea. بس بفكرة the particular solution. He already gave you the the complementary part, but we need we don't need it. Yeah, and some old exams ask about that verify that like cosine two x is a particular solution of this differential equation. The so I better go over like is it's like saying verify that cosine of two x is a particular solution of this equation. 
طبعا particular series cosine of 2x if you substitute here it will be wrong particular solution the differential equation equals g of x where uh, of course here g of x does not equal to 0 ok particular solution the differential equation will it show in a zero value ok and the complementary part for the differential equation to equal to 0 وفي الختام أرجو أن يكون المقطع قد حقق هدفه في شرح أهم أفكار في الأسئلة في الاختبار السابق اختبار المد ترم لترم تو ون لمادة ماث تو تو والتوفيق لكم جميعا سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك